Hello everyone. Uh, we are looking at Google Docs here and you're going to be using this after you've created your uh, blogger account. This is that journal reflections tool uh, you'll be using online at www.blogger.com um, because that is also owned by Google and once you have that set up you can use the same username and password uh, to access Google Docs. So and it's also free. Um, this is um, kind of like Office, Microsoft Office, but it's all online. So if you were to create a document here um, and you were to go to, uh, like come into the office here and you wanted to share it with your professor, uh, you'd be able to just log into the computer, go to your, uh, sign into Google Docs and your documents will all be there. You could show them uh, in person. Uh, if you wanted to send them to someone for, like you were applying for a job and you wanted to send them your resume, uh, you could log in here and you could do that. So it's a, it's a nice little tool to learn and to know. Uh, it's much easier than the one we used in the past uh, that was built into Blackboard. So, so this is it. You're going to log in uh, using your username and password. You can see I'm logged in here. So you have a couple options here uh, for creating a document. You can either create it, a new document here, which will allow you to edit it and change it. Um, right here online or wherever you happen to log in. If you have a, you know, a smartphone, you could probably do it from a smartphone even. Um, but you can uh, make changes wherever you're able to log into the internet. Uh, the other option is to create it in your uh, Microsoft Word, um, format it however you want, uh, make all the changes you want there, and then upload it here. So let's assume you're doing that. Uh, you're going to upload a file. You'll navigate to wherever you saved it. Here, this is, I'm on a Macintosh, uh, so I'm going to desktop. I just happened to, to put a little dummy file together called My ePortfolio. I'm going to open it. And I have this um, sorted here by last modified. You see you have some several uh, options for sorting it. Last modified will always put the last thing you did on top, so I don't have to go searching for it. So here's My ePortfolio in uh, Google Docs. All I can do here, though, is view it. So you don't have any other choices other than you could share it or you can download it. Like if you're at someone else's computer and you logged in, you could download it and then work on uh, Microsoft Word there. Uh, you could edit the description of it, but not the actual document itself. Okay. This isn't bad if you're, if you're um, looking to share an actual Word document with someone else. So you upload it, uh, you can share it with them, and then they can go log in and download it from their account. However, um, A better option might be to, to use it as a Google document. So if you have you keep this checked here and you go to this actions button here, and there's several things you could do. This is where you could delete it, you know, move to trash, you could download it. Um, but what we're gonna do is make a Google Docs copy of it. So I choose that, let it do that, and then here's your Google Docs document. You can see um, when I mouse over it. It says document where this one says Microsoft Word. Okay. However, when I click on this one, now I have some formatting options. I could choose the font. You know, I can make it bold, um, etc. You know, you can you can add whatever you want to add here, and it automatically saves everything you've done. You can click save now, but you see it just saved. I didn't do it. I didn't click there. It just automatically saved. Um, you can. Um, you can share this document with your professor and you would see when they're online here, um, if they were viewing your, your portfolio, you would see them in here and you would actually, if they were like highlighting something and maybe adding some text to say, you know, maybe you should add something here, you would see that all in real time being added. Um, you could even actually chat with them under discussions if you wish to chat here. You could, you could say, you could talk to each other on it. Um, however, that's probably not uh, how this is going to be used. You can make changes here, and, and once they're saved, you go back to the home, and now, if you go to Actions, you can share it. So you click Share, and then Share it. And then you'll add email addresses here, and if you add your, your instructor's email address, I'm just going to add my... Um, my personal email address to share it with. You can choose if they can edit or just view it. With your professor, you want them to just to be able to edit it so they can, like I said, add comments in there that they want you to, to uh, address. 
if it was something you were sending it to or sharing it with a, a potential employer, for instance, you might want to change it so they can only view it and not change anything on it. So once I share it, you see now I'm on a list here of people I've shared it with. You can add more if you want. You can change it. You can change how you want them uh, to, to view it or not, or you can delete them from being able to view it. Um, and now it says that it's shared here. Uh, one of the great things about uh, Google Docs is you can upload several documents to it. You can upload uh, images to it. You can upload PDF files. So as you're creating this ePortfolio, this is something you should be uh, updating throughout your career, professional career, uh, especially your educational. If you go to uh, workshops uh, and say you have a PDF file that they emailed to you, you can upload that here as something uh, to add to your portfolio. If you go and uh, take pictures at a, a school that you're uh, doing observations at, you don't not really don't want to take pictures of the children, but maybe of like how they've uh, set up their walls or you know how they've laid out the classroom or something that you can take a picture of, and you can upload that to your uh, your ePortfolio. So it's a good idea to create a uh, a folder here for all of your e your your ePortfolio things to go into, and to do that you're going to create new and a collection. They call them folders collections. And so we'll call this ePortfolio. And OK. And if we you see we're down here, if we go up to home again, you see now that's ePortfolio. You can uh, click on any of your items and just drag them to that. And you can see each item has now has this tag that it's in the ePortfolio uh, folder. And these have some uh, you can like change the color of your of your folder and things like that so that you see all these change with that okay so i think we've covered everything you're gonna be able to share this you see now it also has a tag that is shared with someone um one more thing as you go to actions we were looking at share you could email this document as an attachment to an email you can email other people who are collaborators with it who you've shared it with uh, you can send an email asking them, you know, view that. Like if you wanted to uh, uh, make changes to it and then notify your instructor that you've made changes, you could email uh, email them. So uh, that's everything. If you have any questions, uh, please, by all means, give me a give me a call or email me, and I will um, I will get back to you. Um, also, this will be changing. The look of this will be changing soon. You see that Google now has a try the new look, uh, where this is the classic look, the new look will look like this. See, it's just changed, everything's the same, just the look has changed. You can still create you know, your collection, which now looks like a folder. Uh, the documents, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, spreadsheet, a form, a drawing, and you can upload files and folders and things like that. Um, everything else is, is still the same. You still see that it's part of the ePortfolio folder. So again, any questions, give me a call. Thank you, bye.